Okay, I've never really done this, but it's a tour of this old trailer up north. First of all, uh, that's the roof I put on. You might say, wait a minute, what is it like two different color shingles? Actually, it's three different bundles of shingles. The brown ones I found inside of the shed. The, uh, the single white stripe was included in that mix. And then the ones above the brown came from uh, my brother-in-law Mike's place, not far from here. And then I had to buy another bundle of shingles. So we have four. Anyway, that's the outhouse. Beautiful. Now, this is the trailer. Look at this. Holy crap. So the red used to be blue. It's a 1956 Pontiac Chief brand. Not Pontiac like Pontiac Motor Company. Uh, that's just the name of it. Way back when. Uh, there was no axles on it, no wheels, no tires, nothing like that. Uh, Jesus, my dad put the chimney on it. It's useless. It's a, few, a propane, not propane, fuel oil uh, a heater. It's terrible. It's completely useless. But uh, let's wander around here. So my dad put this freestanding roof on it. The initial one was like this one to keep the snow off of it and so that the roof wouldn't leak. It's not touching the damn trailer at all. There's a gap there because it can't support the weight. It's a freestanding structure he built. Looks like shit. Very uh, efficient, though, because the roof is in great shape. Uh, then he put this additional one on it, but never quite finished it, as you can see. Uh, that's something that I could possibly do maybe one day. But, uh, all right, so you have this big structure. You can kind of sit around, hang out. Now the actual trailer. Hope this isn't too stupidly boring, but... Man, this thing is... Look at... Look at that. You go in here and it just smells like old. Now, don't laugh. This actually works. I'm not missing a window. I just actually uh, put it here so that I could have some air conditioning. Okay, so there you go. That stain is where Bruce peed, for God's sake... Thermostat does not operate. Man, this is uh, getting ready to paint. Original, original freaking fridge. Check it. Still works. You know how old this is? Well, it's 56 years old. This thing works. Runs off the propane. No running water. This is that furnace I was telling you about. Oh, God. I have a temporary toilet, porta potty, because that does not work because there's no running water. There is a shower. You use one of these in it. Pretty much storage for us. Everything is so damn old here. Holy crap. Back bedroom. This is where it all goes down right here. Look at these. Everything is so antique. Jesus. Some people are really into this shit. Everything matches. Yeah. It's like that matters. So that's it. Before I let you go, though. When I was uh, cleaning out that shed... For some reason, my dad took it upon himself to establish some type of collection. I'm not sure why this is, but uh, let's go over the roster of bottles. This is a Pepsi Light bottle. Obviously not made anymore. If I remember, Pepsi Cola Light was like Pepsi with a hint of lemon in it. Uh... 15 ounce bottle, uh, very rare. What does it say on the side here? Deposit, dispose of properly. 
no refill. They just wanted you to throw it away. That Michigan didn't even have the deposit law yet when this was uh, when that was a thing. So that's dating it. Uh, this is a Falstaff beer bottle. This is the way they made them. These little butt plug replica bottles. Which, I mean, look at what a classic look this is. A stubby thing. It makes makes me want to be a drunk again just so I could drink a uh, beer in this type of freaking bottle. I mean, look at this thing. It looks like, uh, you know, some really kinky lady's big butt plug, man. God, I don't know why I can't escape from that joke. It sucks. What an asshole. Aha. Uh, Paps Blue Ribbon with uh, a caterpillar on top. Hey, buddy. Head out. Head out, baby. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, oh, uh, yes. Look at steel. Rusting can. Jesus. Ah, oh, man. There are people that collect these. If anybody wants these damn cans, they're yours. Pull tab. Okay, there's that. Aha! If Pap, if Pap, if Paps is not your thing, how about a uh, Goble Golden Light Lager? Yeah, I really want my beer to resemble 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 a can of oil. What the hell is he doing? Come on, get over here! I see him. He's walking the opposite direction. Hey. They do this all the time. They like wander off. We get scared shitless that they're gone. O'Neal? O'Neal! Oh. Anyway. And then there's this. Who could forget? Fago Rock and Rye. With, I mean, look at her. Call the Centers for Missing and Exploited Children. I think we found somebody. Why did they put, like, faces on the can of, of Fago? Uh, yeah, made in Detroit. Rainbow flare flavors. Yeah, okay. This kid died with Mikey uh, with Pop Rocks and uh, Coca-Cola in, in her tummy. Great joke. Just another shit stinker joke. God damn it. What the hell is wrong with me? Okay, that's going to do it, man. We got puppies. We're getting ready to leave. Old glory. Okay, so that's it, man. I'll give you one more little glimpse of uh, this thing. I, I guess I didn't go all the way around it. You know, yeah, there's a couple more things I want to show you. Hi, yeah. See how that roof works? Freestanding roof. Ah, classy. Jesus. When my dad put this cement down, he put the names of my brothers and I and me. Uh, Mike, 58, Paul, 60. Norm, you can barely see it, N-O-R-M. I don't know what year he's born. It's there, but I can't see it. Uh, where am I? He can't see me. It's somewhere over here. It's kind of worn away, man. It's a lot of years. Uh, when I'm recording this on my birthday, I'm recording this on my birthday, July 7th, 2019, I first spent the night here five weeks after I was born in 1970. I know that because I still have my baby book that my mother gave me. And uh, so this has not moved for even years before that. But five weeks after I was born, I spent the night in that room right there, in that back bedroom that the window is all duct taped up. So I, you know... Say it's, uh, some people might be like, ah, oh, this is a piece of shit. God damn it. Blow that place up. 
But uh, this is, I am so enamored with this place. It's mine. And uh, for it to still be in our family is, uh, is very, very important to me. Because uh, who knows what, what could have happened if uh, Dad and I didn't work this out. So, all right. I don't know if you found any of this interesting, but I figured I'd share with you. I'd talk about it, not, talk about it enough. See ya. It's your birthday. Yep, that's right. It is my birthday. Thank you.